this is Mad Movie Mark, another Mad Movie Mark movie review. Thank you for joining me as I review the 1972 drama boxing movie, Fat City. He's got a great reach and a good pair of legs. Real clean, good looking kid. This kid could develop. Oh, you ought to see the reach on him. And he's tall, you know. Oh, he could draw crowds someday. Uh, maybe he can if he just listen to me and let me put everything I know into him. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you for that offer. I'm reviewing every movie that has 100% fresh rain on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm giving them all a score of 1 to 10. After I watch them and score them all, I will rank them from worst to best. I started in the 1920s silent movie era, and now I am at 1972 with Fat City. This movie has a 100% fresh rating from the critics and an 84% fresh rating from the audience. It stars Stacey Keach as Tully, Jeff Bridges as Ernie, and Susan Tyrell as Oma. She was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her role in this movie. She lost to Ellen Heckert for Butterflies Are Free. I've never heard of Ellen Heckridge, nor have I heard of Butterflies Are Free, so I don't know if she deserved that award. Over Ellen, I can tell you that Susan Tyrell is absolutely phenomenal in this movie, as are all the actors. Stacey Keach uh, is the main actor, and he is just mesmerizing. Jeff Bridges has a smaller role in this movie. The last movie I just reviewed, The Last Picture Show, also starred Jeff Bridges, where he had a much more predominant role. But in this role, uh, he is not seen all that much, uh, but he still does a really great job. So this is a gritty movie. This is a gritty boxing movie. It's not like a normal boxing movie that you would watch where there's like an underdog story, uh, where there is uh, someone who is phenomenal at boxing and decides to come back, or phenomenal at boxing and is just being discussed. Uh, this is a movie about a guy named Tully. He is uh, 29 years old. He looks like he's probably in his mid-40s, uh, but he's 29 years old. He is a washed-up boxer. Uh, he is like an alcoholic. He's down on his luck. He doesn't really try that hard in life. He doesn't really try to make something of himself. He doesn't. He has no real ambition in life to really become anything. Um, and one day he's at the gym and he sees um, he sees Ernie kind of doing some boxing. He says, "Hey, let's spar a little bit." Yeah. You want to spar a little? You pro? I used to be. I'm all out of shape now. So they spar, and then he tells Ernie that, like, you really have what it takes to be a great boxer. You're a young kid. You're, like, 18 years old. I really see a lot of promise in you. You should talk to my manager. You should try to become a boxer and really live out your potential. Well, I think you got it, kid. I gotta know what I'm talking about. I fought Efren Soto. You know, there was a time when nobody could hit me. I mean, they tried, you know, but I, I wouldn't be there. So Ernie ends up going to see this manager. Uh, the manager offers to take him on. But right away, um, I, I'm, I'm not a... I don't watch boxing normally. I've seen a lot of boxing movies. Uh, but right away as I'm watching Ernie box, I can tell that he's a bit awkward and not very good <laughs> at what he's doing. kind of gets beat up in almost every fight that they show from him. I don't think they show him winning or drawing in any fight uh, in which he's participating. So while that story is going on, um, Tully's character is down and out. Uh, he meets Oma at a bar and they kind of hit it off uh, with each other. And um, she is a, a, a raging alcoholic. I, I don't wanna say a raging alcoholic. She's a very emotional alcoholic and she's constantly drunk throughout the entire movie. But this is like alcoholism from 1930s where the alcoholic is like the funny guy, the funny person, the comic relief. Um, she is an emotional alcoholic. Uh, she and she just shines in this role um, her you really need someone in this role who can really just 
act, and she just just does a, such a phenomenal job. Hey, come on, that's a lot. Don't tell me what to do. I don't care who hears me. I know I'm making a nuisance of myself. Oh, this goddamn Mexican sitting there. They don't know who their real friends are. Hey, with them. What are you going on about? Don't tell me. What you take your hands off me? You are liable to get backhanded right off that stool if you see if I care one bit. That's all I need. You go ahead and make it feel so good. She steals every scene that she's in, and it's spectacular. I've never heard of her before, but man, she is just absolutely amazing in, in this movie. And I, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen whenever she was on the screen. She's she's just so good. And Stacy Keach as Telly, acting opposite of her, is absolutely phenomenal too. Because he's kind of a guy in the beginning that you want to root for. Uh, he decides he's going to try to start boxing again just because he needs the money. Because he has nothing else in the world that he's good at doing. I'm gonna start doing some running. If I get into shape, I know I can still fight. Why don't you then? Go ahead. Um, and this is kind of his fallback is, is boxing and at first you're like you really you want him to be successful at this I thought that this was going to be like a comeback story uh, where he was like a great boxer at one point and now he's coming back and he's going to once again be a great boxer but that's not at all what it is he's uh, not a very good person even when he's uh, having conversations with Oma and she's drunk he kind of like asks for her to be belligerent to him. Like he, he's not very nice to her. Um, and then he kind of tries to brush it off as if, oh, it's just you're drunk and like you don't know what you're talking about. And he um, treats her very poorly uh, when they're having conversations with each other. When he tries to get back in the ring, you realize that he's actually not that, that great of a boxer. He's put up against someone who's supposed to be a really easy target. This person also has some sort of really bad medical condition where he like is peeing blood before the fight even begins. And Tully realizes this, he, he during the fight, uh, he says, I didn't hit him down there, but he's bleeding down there. And you think, okay, well, you know, this is gonna be a really easy win for Tully because the other guy's already injured <laughs> at the beginning. He ends, up, he ends up winning the fight, but just like barely, it goes to like the last round. And he ends up, they end up knocking each other both down. He ends up winning the fight. But it's like barely a win at all. And after he wins, he realizes he only gets like $100 for the win. And he's incredibly crushed and angry uh, because he thinks that he deserves more money. Uh, I, th I think he's like kind of out of it. He's a, he's a bit drunk, um, but he's just like belligerent and very upset at the fact that he, he just won this bout, but he only gets $100. And um, at that point, I'm like, okay, uh, th this isn't going to be the comeback story that I thought it would be. Um, he ends up going to his manager at one point in the movie and he says, look, I, I met this woman, but she's like belligerent and she's drunk all the time and she's just giving me such a hard time. The manager says, you ha I'll let you like stay at my place, but you have to break it off with this girl. So he goes down to like pick up his things and he realizes that her boyfriend is still living with him. So she's like been seeing both of them at the same time. Now her boyfriend seems like a really cool person. He uh, says, you know, um, you came to get your stuff, here's your stuff. Oma's drunk right now, I wouldn't like talk to her. Uh, she's being belligerent. <laughs> so he kind of understands who his wife is and, and, and what she is. And they kind of exchange things. At the end, um, also Tully, throughout the movie, he takes up uh, jo like odd jobs. He At one point he's like, um, there's some kind of fruit or something on trees that they're shaking down with belts and he like picks them up and collects them and like bushels them. Um, at the same time, Ernie also does this and they end up finding each other uh, while they're on the same job. So they have connections throughout the movie where they're, they're, they're seeing each other. They're both kind of on the same path, only Ernie has a chance to kind of make his path better. He has uh, a wife and he has a child on the way and um, he really 
he has a, a there's a point in this movie where he can make a decision where he he realizes what Tully is and the kind of person Tully is. Does he want to go down that path or does he want to kind of um, stay with his family? Because Tully seems like at one point Tully had that same choice where he had a woman and he, you know, he decided not to make the right decisions. So is Ernie going to make those right decisions going forward? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I figured that out by watching the movie. My hope is that he does, but he seems to not have, uh, he seems to have kind of the same ambitions that uh, Tully has, which, which isn't a very good sign. At the end of the movie, Tully basically tells Ernie that, like, I never really saw anything in you as a fighter. Like, I'm sorry. Like, as soon as I saw you, I knew you had, like, a soft stomach and that you weren't going to make it. And you really realize, like, how bad of a person Tully is because it seems like the only reason that he invited Ernie into his world of boxing and invited Ernie into this world is so that he could have someone to uh, be punished with him so he could drag someone down with him so that he wasn't the only one who was kind of um, living an unambitious life. He wasn't the only one who was... Um, you know, not going anywhere in life so he could have someone else who's also going through the same pain as him. At least that's what I got from this. Um, so there's no, I mean, Ernie's probably the most redeemable character in this movie. Um, at first he says he doesn't want to box. He's just at the gym fooling around, but he ends up getting swept into this life. Um, but at the end of the movie, I really didn't, didn't see that he really had a passion for boxing. Like he never did. I think at the end he kind of realizes he's not that good at it. So maybe he's going to travel down a different path, especially since Tully told him that he never really saw anything in him. Um, but this is just a much different kind of boxing movie than I've, than I've ever seen. Uh, there's no like hero at the end. There's no like final bout with like, like the greatest boxer in the world and they're going for a title or anything like that. I think this really shows like you have professional boxing where everyone is absolutely fantastic and they're going for, uh, you know, the championship belt. And then maybe you have this lower level of boxing where people um, are just kind of going through the motions and they really have no way of going up the ladder because they're not that good at it, but they're really not good at anything else. So this is kind of just what they do uh, throughout their life. Um, I mean, I've seen that before. I worked uh, in like the fast food industry where, you know, there are people who are there their entire lives who work this kind of job. And uh, it's, you know, they just don't think that there's anywhere else that they can go. There's no upward momentum. They're not good at anything else. So that's just where they stay. And I think that this is like the gritty part of this profession that you don't always see every day where there are people who don't make it. You know, there are people who aren't good enough to get to this point. There are people who just don't have what it takes uh, to be professional. And, you know, they live, maybe they live this kind of life where uh, they're just fighting just to make ends meet, just to pay the bills. Um, and that's just that side of the boxing industry. Uh, I thought that was really awesome to look at. Like I said, I've never seen this type of boxing movie before. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. And it's like, again, like I said, it's just, it's really on the back of these acting performances. They're just so fantastic. Uh, the directing is also great. It's directed by John Huston, uh, who also did Treasure of the Sierra Madre. I mean, John Huston has done so many different types of movies, and this movie, um, it just, it shows how great of a director he is. The script is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. I think this is based off a, a book or, or like a play, uh, but the script is absolutely fantastic. The title Fat City is based off the nickname for the city which this takes place, which is, I believe, in Central California. Um, but I don't know what else to say about the movie besides I love, like, really sad, dark, gritty movies, and this is kind of right up my alley. I thought this movie was absolutely fantastic. I would definitely watch this movie again. I would recommend uh, to other people that they, they should watch this movie. If you just want a different type of boxing movie, you should you should watch this movie. If you're tired of watching the same thing, like a Rocky movie where at the end, uh, you know, Rocky gets up and he's, well, 
Rocky won, not not triumphant, but he gets up and you know he's able to move quickly through the ranks and to be one of the greatest boxers ever. And if you're, if you're looking for just a different side of the boxing world, I would say that this movie is probably something that you should see. Uh, this movie is a nine out of 10 for me. I thought it was really good. Um, I, I don't have a whole lot more to say about it except fantastic acting performances. Um, the ambiance of the movie was uh, fantastic. The characters are incredibly believable. Um, the world that this is set in is incredibly believable. You really feel like you're there. You really feel like you're in the moment at the time. Uh, it's just it's just phenomenal. It's great filmmaking. Uh, so 9 out of 10. I hope you join me for my next review when I review the movie Sleeper. Thank you. Have a great day.